guys, today we will become the best teacher's pet of all time in a game that'll try to end us brutally. Enter kindergarten. Should I bring some extra money to school? Yes, of course. Oh my god, we've got 10 bucks now. Here we go. Can I just sleep? I cannot. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? Yes, you are, little Timmy. Oh, look, we have a little pond there. I smell money. <laughs> Yeah, someone's definitely carrying a bunch of money around here. Hey, kid! You carry any cash? Uh, yes, I do. Excellent! Give me half of it, or I'll split your empty skull with my foot. Fuck off! You make your own money, dude. Only The fuck? He's just pummeling me! Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, no! Holy! I died. He just beat me to death. Oh, okay, I, I, I see what this game is about. <laughs> okay, he smells money again. So I literally have to give it to him. No, I don't have any cash. Don't lie to me! I know when I smell money. Give me half of it. How is, how is that a thing? Good boy. Now don't go telling the teacher about that. Wah, wah, Mrs. Holy. Fuck stole my mommy. He did? Interesting. I make you a deal. Fuck is a real troublemaker. He's violent and a danger to others. Uh, you can say that, yes. If you go over there and challenge him and make it worth your while. Uh, what's in it for me, though? I don't know. Vengeance, maybe? I'll give you a gold star. We all have gold stars, don't we? Here we go. I mean... I guess, okay. Oh, I love a good kitty fight. Are you sure you're a teacher? What do you want to weep? Uh, is there a possibility for me to get an axe or something? <laughs> I can insult him! Let's go! Yes, wish me would make your daddy come back. <laughs> My dad will come back! He just went to the store to get some cigarettes, that's all! That was five years ago. Get out of here, I'll beat you so hard, it'll make him... Proud. He'll never be proud of you, bitch. <laughs> yes, he will! If you don't leave right now, I'll kill you. Oh shit. Teacher! Bugs! How dare you attack another student unprovoked again? Unprovoked? Harsh statement there? But he had it coming to him. That's the last straw. I'm sending you to the principal's office so we can finally expel you. No, please don't! He started it! He's a liar! He said my dad was never coming back! Well, he won't. But he's right! <laughs> and after this little incident, neither are you. <laughs> I'm, I'm Go! Stupid rat! Yeah, in another reality, it went down like this. Teacher! It doesn't look like she's paying attention. Uh, okay, I guess I die like a rat. Okay, I probably should not do that. Stupid rat! We could have been friends if you didn't rat me out. Bitch, you killed me twice! Oh, happy day. I'm finally rid of that little degenerate. Here's your gold star, as promised. Well, thanks. I mean, I'm bleeding, though. Shouldn't I go see the nurse? Hmm. Now you've got me thinking, though. Jerome thinks he's so high and mighty because he's the principal's kid. Why don't we arrange a trip for him to visit daddy? Oh. Hmm. Who's Jerome, though? Maybe we could. Ha! Huh? Nice! All those plots! I haven't even started the day yet. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Come see me during morning time, and I'll tell you what to do. Alright, see you then. If you still have any time, you might want to get rid of Cindy too. <laughs> Calm down, hold your horses! You could easily get her expelled if she falsely accuses you of something. You've thought a lot about this, haven't you? Yeah, she's kind of petty, ain't she? You bet I have. Sounds like a plan. All right. Now, let's meet our classmates. We've got Cindy. She used to have a boyfriend, which we just got expelled. Pretty sure she hates our guts now. Hey, they're cutie. Never mind then, I guess. She also used to have a dog. More on that one later. Monty. He sells some dubious shit. Let's say okay, like what that. do you use? What you sell, stranger? A yo-yo. Cigarettes? A screwdriver. Jerome, he's the principal's son. I don't think you're cool enough to talk to me. Also, yeah. He's a dick. He deserves it. Lily has had a brother mm. called oh. Billy, who went missing. And also Cindy hates her guts. And then there's Nugget. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. Oh, that is so sad. <laughs> You'll get none from me. <laughs> oh, 
Come on! He has a cult following on the Steam review page. Uh, let's see what that is all about. I'll be your friend, Nugget. What's your offering? Offering? You must offer something to prove your friendship to Nugget. Yeah, maybe that's why you don't have any friends. Perhaps. But Nugget does not make the rules. Nugget only follows them. Now please present Nugget with your offering. Yeah, who makes those rules? The principal has made the rules for Nugget. Why did you give you those rules? Yeah, really no. You asked too many questions. The principal requests that Nugget gives this to anyone who is so curious. What is it? Nugget doesn't know. The principal is very mysterious. He also said not to talk to anyone who has it. Bye bye. Bye, I guess. Okay, children of the night. It's time to start the day. Everyone head inside for morning time. I'm still bleeding. Shouldn't I see the nurse? He doesn't even have a chair. Nugget doesn't even have a chair. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick up your bodies for morning time. Or you can be sad, pathetic and alone. What? As long as you're the best you, you can be. Uh, will you be my morning body? You wanted to see me about Jerome? Ah yes, the high and mighty Jerome. Always talking back to me. Because his dad is my boss. Now, you think it is time. We finally got even with him. Yeah, how do we do that? The principal has informed me that one of his hall passes has gone missing. I'd bet Nugget's life that Jerome took them. What's Nugget's life worth to you? Not much. <laughs> You're a great teacher. Uh, yeah, here's an ass. Excellent. Just go over there and get him to give it to you. Okay, do it. Do it! I said dude first. Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty's gonna hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. Uh, okay, whatever, joke. So, I wanna buy something. So he wants the yo-yo, and I can trade him the yo-yo back. Yeah, I don't need anything else. You, dude, I am more than cool enough. Do you mean this yo-yo? Ah, come on! He told me he was gonna save that from me. You can have it, if you'll be my buddy. You've got a deal! And since we're gonna be friends, I think you should do something to help me out. You know, as a friend, like what? How did I get in this situation? I, I just wanted to fuck him over. Anyways, uh, you know that creepy old janitor? He stole my laser pointer this morning and said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need, to, I need your help to get it back. What do I do? When you're ready, I give you a hall pass. <laughs> you just activated my trap card. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll give you the pass. I won't be able to distract the teacher for very long. So head straight for the door. Oh, teacher, teacher, look, I knew it. What, you read me out to the teacher, dude. Yes, he did. He's a good little rat. Uh, could you please stop calling me a rat? No, cause that's what you are. Your teacher special little rat. Just like Jerome is teacher special little suspended hooligan. Ah, come on. Bro, I thought you were cool. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Didn't you see me just got beaten to a bull this morning? I mean, literally. Now, why don't you go take that pass back to your dad? I'm sure he'd love to know where it went. Man, stupid rat. Getting me into trouble. My dad is gonna kill me. Oh, you have no idea. Oh, that was just perfect. You're natural at this. Let's keep this kid removal train rolling. What are you saying? Oh, I have a special plan for Nugget. Just befriend the little weirdo by the time reset starts. Uh, that won't be uh, possible because I have the uh, thingy and he won't talk to me if I have the thingy. You're free to get any of the other kids in trouble while you're in there. You'll have to get creative though. What? Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Do you want to be my friend? What are you busy with? You are curious about the ways of Nugget. Interesting. Perhaps you could be some use to Nugget. Well, perhaps, maybe. I mean, if I buy these cigarettes, what will happen? You want these? Never took you for a bad apple. There's only a couple left in the pack, so it's at a discount. You can have them for one buck. 
Actually, that's still pretty cheap. So, I mean, that means it could get us both in trouble. But since I'm the teacher's pet, it shouldn't get me in trouble, right? Can I show this? No, I cannot. But there's something interesting with those, which I'll show off later. What is she doing? Well, I guess she's practicing to become the lead singer of Rammstein. How are you doing there, Sunny? Want some tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? Actually, I'm not that hungry. Um, no one ever sits with poor Nugget. Nugget does not have any friends. Just walk away from Nugget. Yeah, the teacher says you could use more friends. Perhaps she's right. Nugget would do well to make more friends. Will you be Nugget's new friend? Does Nugget's new friend have something to eat? Uh, no, I'm gonna go get something. Nonsense! Nugget has plenty of nuggets to share with his new friend. Here you go. Gee, thanks. Eat it! Eat the nugget. There. Was it good? Very tasty, yes. Sure. You couldn't taste the poison? Wait, what? Nugget poisoned the nuggets. Uh, am I gonna die? Perhaps. That depends on what you do next. So how did I get myself in this situation now? What do you mean? Strange. Normally Bugs has thrown slop at Nugget's head by now. I love how he just casually changes the subject here. Yeah, I got Bugs expelled this morning. <laughs> you did? Oh my, Nugget's revenge on Bugs would have been so satisfying. But I guess this does not cause any potential legal trouble for Nugget down the road. Yeah, so how about the antidote? Yes, of course! Silly Nugget, I almost forgot. Wouldn't want Nugget's new friend to cough up his own stomach now, would we? Yeah, let's take the antidote. Nugget is glad to have you as his friend. Please come visit Nugget at recess. Nugget would like to show you something. Great! I heard about what happened to Bugs. I'm so glad that little monster's... Dead? And I didn't even have to do it myself. You've earned a gold star for a very good job. Uh, what about Nugget? How, how did he die? Did you manage to befriend the little creature? Yes, I did. Excellent. Do you see that hole he's standing in over there? He's been digging it for a few days now. I'm pretty sure he's gone straight through the bottom of the box. Wow. Impressive, actually, yes. Yes, that would be impressive. If it wasn't so dangerous, unfortunately, I have no way to prove how dangerous it is. And the principal, he doesn't seem to care. Uh, what how does that have to do with uh, gaining his trust? Because he won't let anyone in the hole who he doesn't trust. That's why you're going down there. Why don't you go? Yeah, that's the right question. Does it look like I'd be able <laughs> to fit down the hole? <laughs> no, not really. So would you stop laughing and help me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways, so what do you need me to do? I need you to go down the hole and find something. It doesn't have to be much, just anything. Okay, like what? Like a knife? There just has to be something down there. Just go in and find it. Okay, okay. Calm down. Let's just talk to Nugget. Thank you for coming, as Nugget asked. Nugget normally does not have any friends to show his work to, but today he does. Are you ready to enter Nugget's cave? Phrasing, Nugget, phrasing. But yes. Excellent. But first, Nugget must do something. What's that? There, now we are ready. Yeah, why did you just drop all the Nuggets in a hole? So we don't die upon landing? <laughs> How deep exactly is the hole? <laughs> Nuggets, nugget are, nuggets, nuggets are as squishy as they are tasty and poisonous. Now please enter Nuggets Cave. Uh, yeah, enter Nuggets Cave. But why? But how? Why is there a dead dog? Welcome to the Nugget Cave. Behold its nuggety goodness. Okay, please have a look around. Hey, shall. Oh, the little doggy. Nugget forgot the other he was there. Is it dead? Yes, it is. But do not fret. Nugget did not do it. Nugget was just digging the Nugget cave when it fell from the sky. Nugget dares not bring it to the surface. It would probably cause trouble. Uh, it probably would, yes. There's a monster mon card lane lane here next to something.
disintegrating skulls? I'm gonna take the card. Why is there a picture on the wall seemingly fixed there with blood? I guess I'm gonna take the dog. Nugget, could you please let me out here? Teacher! Teacher! Well, what did you find? Well, a dog's corpse? <laughs> oh, dearie me. That's, that's, that, that, that's, that's Cindy's dog. Oh, no. What tragedy we have witnessed today. What? <laughs> you were the one who kidnapped my dog. Oh, my God. She's dead. Cindy, I think what he was trying to tell me is the nugget. You shut your fat, ugly mouth. I have to make this riot. I just got stabbed in the face. Cindy, no, you can't just actually, it would be one less kid for me to deal with. Uh, lady, please, but why? Good job, Cindy, you're on my gold star. But, but, but why? Okay, now what happens, Nugget? Do your thing. What happens if I just go to Cindy without that dog? Is that the first thought that comes to my mind? Yeah. Take the dog. Nugget, I need to get out of here. Sadly, I can't show her the corpse, even though she should be able to smell it. Go inside. Hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you all bring? Well, I, I brought a dead dog, so that is something. Oh dear God, what is that? <laughs> is that Cindy's dog? What? You had my dog this whole time, you killed him? Yeah, I'm, I'm in, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, remember Bugsy's demise? I'm pretty sure the principal has something to do with that. I mean, between his creepy statue, his manipulation of Nugget, and his choice of employees. How are you doing there, Sonny? Don't mind the old janitor here. Just sweeping up after your silly cretins. Sweep, sweep, sweep. Um, that's a mob. Ah, so it is. You're also mopping the sidewalk. I'll be mopping the sidewalk with you if you don't skedaddle. But I don't want to skedaddle. I'm gonna die. I'm a man of my word. Wait, you're gonna kill me? And after paying two bucks to the lunch lady to use the restroom, I found Lily standing in front of the principal's office. So I did the only reasonable thing. What are you doing? You're gonna get us both in trouble. What are you kids doing out here? You should be in the cafeteria. Lily was eavesdropping on you. If Lily was eavesdropping, then what were you doing? I knocked to let you know. <laughs> I got it. The worst teacher's pet of all time, even though she has gum, gum in her hair that I put there. Oh god. Lily, we've been over this. I had nothing to do with your brother's disappearance. Well, you give out stuff that lets children explode, so I don't really trust you there. Oh, yeah, also this up. I mean, I, I got this? Yeah, why would I have one? <laughs> Why is everything out to kill me? <laughs> Why don't you step inside of my office and we'll talk this over again? I know it was you. One day I'll prove it. I'm getting real sick of this young lady. Office now. Please excuse me for a moment. Did you just shoot her? Thanks for letting me know about her. Why don't you finish your lunch? Dude, you're covered in blood. What? Oh, this? No, this is a uh, uh, ketchup. You're very observant. Yeah, yeah, right. Listen carefully. Lily's going to be punished very severely for being observant. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Good, now go back to lunch. Sure, sure thing. Really suspicious if you ask me. He might have also just shot me in the face, so that could also be a clue. Drugs in school? How horrible! Give those to me right now! Now I don't have to pick some up after school. Oh, um, uh, also, sending you to the principal's office. You have some tolerance policy on violence, but a zero tolerance policy on drugs. You're shitting me. I can put up with a lot in this school. Missing children, violence, a general with a questionable past. Yeah, I noticed he's... 
Why is there blood under the cup? That's a lot to put up with. But the one thing I will not stand for in my school is drugs. Uh, okay, maybe I shouldn't have shown her the uh, cigarettes. But, uh, but... I know how to handle delinquents like you. Counseling? That's another way of counseling, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> I guess becoming a teacher's pet just isn't me. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day. Until then. My hands are sweaty. God damn it. <laughs>